Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. It's getting to be that time of year when you have gift buying on your mind and it's the best time of year to buy some great tools at great prices. Today we're gonna to be talking about $99 drills. We're even gonna test a few and try and find out which one's the best value for you. So let's get right into that on Tinker with Tools. So as I mentioned in previous videos, Black Friday is the number one best time to buy tools in my opinion. Father's Day sometimes rivals it. There's also some spring sales you can get, but Black Friday seems like every manufacturer is putting tool deals out and there's a lot of great ones. One of my favorite ones is the $99 drill and there's many different tool companies that offer a $99 drill. So which one should you take a look at? Well, luckily we've already reviewed a few on the channel that you can check out in past videos. I'll make sure to link those down below. We're gonna cover a few more tonight. We're gonna go over what there is offered from various companies and try and figure out which one is the best deal for you. At Home Depot, there's a variety of different deals to choose from. You can get a $99 drill kit from Rigid, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, and then you can actually get an $89 compact HP drill from Ryobi. So there's actually five drills to consider when you're looking at the deals at Home Depot. Now over at Lowe's, there's a variety of drills also. From They do have a different $99 DeWalt drill. There's a $99 drill from Cobalt. And then there's also a $99 drill from Skill that we actually don't have tonight. Now one that I am going to include in our testing just to give you some comparison is this Craftsman RP kit. This was $99 up until about a week and a half ago. Uh, I'm hoping that it'll actually drop back down when it gets closer to Black Friday, but for right now it is a little bit out of the price range. So let's go ahead and run through some testing. We'll talk about what the benefits are of each one of these drills. But first let's kind of go over the specs of each one and talk about what's included in the box. All right, so we're gonna start out, we're gonna run through the test with each drill individually. So we're gonna do the Craftsman first, starting with a three quarter inch Diablo Speed Dimmon. I should point out this is going to be running a 1.5 amp hour battery. It is fully charged. All right, moving right up to a seven eighths inch. Okay, it did let go of the bit, probably more my fault than anything. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the one inch Diablo speed dimming. Okay, get it in the cutout, drop into speed one. One. In speed one, an inch and a quarter fighter spade bit. All right, and then a bit that I think is frankly beyond most of these drills, but we'll see if it stops them. This is going to be the Irwin speed bore inch and three quarters. We are gonna be in speed one in drill mode. So that one did cut out. We are gonna stop there with the Craftsman. Let's move on to some drilling tests with one of the newest drills in here. We are gonna be going with the Cobalt. This is actually their new, all their tools are brushless, but this is now kind of more their compact one. It is not the XTR, but it is a pretty big upgrade spec wise over the previous non XTR drill. And the thing I like about it is it's gotten to be considerably smaller. This is the DeWalt Atomic, which is a subcompact drill. It is not that much bigger. And so that's kind of what I want to point out is how much smaller this has got. Most of these drills are going to have a plastic outer chuck. This one actually is an all metal chuck. All right, we are going to be in drill mode in speed two, first with a three quarter inch bit. So already, if you're buying at Lowe's, based on one bit reviews, this thing is in a different ballpark, I feel like. Now going up to the 7 8 inch Diablo bit. For the price point, this feels like something more premium. All right, and now the one inch. It is pretty much through. When it gets right there to the end, I don't know if I can really hold that against it. We'll see if it does cut out when we step up to a larger bit. Moving up to the inch and a quarter. Okay, it did cut out on speed two. Let's go speed one. We are gonna try and run this through in speed two. Okay, cut down right immediately. So now speed one. Okay. 
so it doesn't have the power to do it in speed two, but definitely in speed one. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so for the first entry from Home Depot, we are going with Ridge's $99 offering, which is their subcompact drill. Now this is the smallest drill here. It's very 12 volt like, whereas a lot of the other drills just feel like small 18 volt. This one truly feels almost like a 12 volt size. Starting with the three quarter inch. It did go through in speed two, but it did cut out at the end. Now going for the seven eight. So we are definitely getting cutouts now. We are gonna drop down to speed one for probably the remainder of these tests. All right, now the one inch in speed one. Don't have a lot of confidence that we're gonna be able to do these two bigger bits with this drill, but maybe I'm wrong. The inch and a quarter. It's not gonna win any speed contest, but it really does just keep on going. This feels a little ridiculous if I'm being honest with you. Checking up this big of a bit into this small of a drill. So we are gonna stop there. It did not complete the inch and three quarters, and it was noticeably slower than the other drills. They are bigger, they are rated higher than this one, so not necessarily shocking that it wasn't able to do this. But let's go ahead and see what we have to offer from DeWalt. All right, so very early on, the very first video that I ever did on Tinker with Tools was actually about the Lowe's $99 version. They're rated very similar power-wise and spec-wise, so I expect to see similar results. Starting in drill mode in speed two with the three-quarter inch. I'm actually really shocked at that. We're getting firm cutouts on the three-quarter inch. This actually feels like a nice drill. I'm a little surprised here. Let's go ahead, just for sake of it, we are gonna go back up to speed two for the seven eights. Nope, oh, we're getting cutouts. Let's see what it does on the one. Maybe it's just stronger, not as fast. Now with the inch and a quarter. Now for its biggest test. So for keeping track, we've only had one drill that has been able to do this bit. And if I had to predict, I think we might be staying that way on this one. To DeWalt's credit, that was the slowest drill that has ever successfully gone through that hole without having to do multiple trigger pulls. It is a strong drill, it is not fast. So we're gonna go ahead and set back up for some conclusions. I don't need to see the results to know that the winner performance wise was definitely this cobalt drill. First impressions of this thing is that it is a substantially higher quality drill than the other $99 options that are out there. The rigid feels most like a 12 volt tool that can be good and bad. There really isn't a great place to hold on to this one to give yourself some support. And so it would be nice to maybe have something to hold on more to. You're not getting that with a rigid, but you do get the benefit of having a smaller size. Cobalt is one of those tool platforms I don't feel like a lot of people talk about. It's not the most glamorous tool purchase you're going to make, but Cobalt does have a couple of things going for it. First off, this is the only one of the $99 drills that is 24 volt platform. And so it does give you potentially a little bit more power, or a little bit more juice as you're going into it. And the more power is what we're seeing in these tests. This is an impressive tool that does give you some great output. They do have a fairly large lineup of tools and they've got some really hidden gems in there. Their XTR tools are really nice and these new brushless tools that they're coming out with. And from what I'm seeing, they actually are rather impressive tools. And then the last kind of benefit I feel like of Cobalt is just how inexpensive the batteries are and how quickly you can build out your tool on it buying a slightly into a slightly less expensive brand. Buying into DeWalt's platform is not necessarily one of value. They are getting you in the door with this $99 drill. Dollar for dollar, the other tools you're going to be buying are going to be more expensive than a lot lineup like this or a lineup like rigid or even a lineup like craftsman so at the end of the day which one is going to be the best 99 dollar drill that you can buy 
Well, I do think it is without a doubt the Cobalt $99 drill that they have right now. Now, that doesn't mean that you're really going to go wrong with any one of these drills today. They are all good drills to buy into, and I think this is the best time if you're looking to get into a tool platform, buy into it at Black Friday, take advantage of the $99 drill to get your foot in the door, get the charger, get a couple of batteries usually. All right, so when it comes to value with all the different $99 kits, the Cobalt's going to be coming with one battery. That is the same that you're gonna be getting with the Milwaukee and the Makita kits. They all come with just a single battery. Now on the DeWalt Atomic kit and the other DeWalt kit at Lowe's, you are gonna be getting two 1.5 amp hour batteries. Now the Rigid, you do actually get two two amp hour batteries. All told, you do have some great options here. But if I'm being honest with you, there is only one clear winner and clear best value in my opinion, and that is this Cobalt drill. It is not competing in the class with the other $99 drills in my opinion. It is actually punching above that class. So this is a clear winner for me. Go ahead and let me know which one of these $99 drills you would pick up if you were starting fresh and kind of give me a feel for why you would choose that one. Your answers are gonna help shape other people's purchasing decisions. And so all that input is good input and I really don't think you can buy a bad drill here, but there's just a clear winner performance wise. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments about any of these drills, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll try and get them answered for you. And then make sure you hit the subscribe button and check the bell notification so you can get notified when I put out new content. Again, thanks for watching and until next time, this has been Tinker with Tools.